Yo, what's good? Yeah, it's me again, Prince from Prince Pixel. And today I'm bringing you guys a new video. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video, but today I decided to make this video for uh, color grading. Uh, as you see, this image uh, is already retouched. So today we are, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, color grading and and the look I'm going for is a melanin skin tone. So as you can see, we have to achieve something like uh, something like this, like this. So without further ado, let's get jump to it. Okay, uh, uh, the, I already color graded this image, so I'm gonna take you through all the adjustments that uh, I made to achieve such a look. Uh, uh, the first adjustment is black and white. <clears throat> As you can see, this is black and white. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my voice is not that good. I apologize for that. Now, uh, black and white, I created a black and white. Change the blend mode to uh, multiply. And opacity at 20, 21. Let's make 20. Twenty. So, before after okay and the second adjustment that i made is color balance uh, color balance what i did as you can see i cooled the image down okay as you can see the adjustment let's see on the properties Let's make this bigger like this. You so can see on the mid tone. This here on the mid tone. On the cyan, I put the negative seven and. The uh, blue put in plus four. Plus four. Uh, on the shadow, I put it plus five on the blue. And the highlights, I put negative two on the blue okay make sure to to check the preserve the luminosity okay and flow is at 100 so you can see this is before and after okay uh, jump to another Adjustment. I created a auto filter to cool the image down even more. Okay. Um, I created a photo filter. I created a photo filter on the adjustment here and choose color. A photo filter here go on the properties and set the the cooling filter 80 okay check the reserve luminosity uh, dynasty at 25 and then 
Yeah, opacity should be at 15. Let's be precise. Okay. Uh, one more thing, color uh, blending mode. Change to color. You can see this is before, after. A little bit changes, but make the most of it. Oh, another adjustment is black and white. Okay, another black and white. As you can see, it's black and white. I created a black and white here. Then I changed the blending mode to multiply. Opacity at 20. But on the red, 70 on the red. So, facing, let's be more precise. Yes, 80 on the yellow. Remember, yellow and reds are skin tones. These are the colorful skin tones. So, should be remember that. Okay. Uh, another adjustment. I created another black and white. There is a lot of black and white. Trust me. Um, I created a black and white again to give my image a contrast. So this is different from the black and white we see down here uh, because we change the blending mode to soft light. Okay. And uh, uh, everything here should be the way it is, default by default. Okay. But the opacity is 20, 28, let's put 25. But uh, one thing which is important, you have to right click and go to blend mode option <clears throat> this is called blend, blend if as you can see here blend if uh, from the underlying layer let's see it was it for it's gonna be like this when you open your your blend if so all you have to do is click the highlight. This is highlight. This is mid tone, and this is shadow. So we're gonna take it, remove from highlight at this point. Then we're gonna click the Alt and click Ans to break it. Then click the left one and drag the shadow this is gonna create a really a transition uh, your effect is gonna transition nice to the highlights and again remove from the shadow too at this point 80 uh, 15 is okay then click again and break it then move to add the highlight so i want the heat effect to be on the middle not too on the shadow or too on the highlight i want it to be around the mid tone <coughs> remember the opacity should be at 25 and the blend mode should be at soft light okay this is before and after <coughs> We manage to give our image a, a contrast. Again, uh, this is the rich tone. Okay, okay. Just a little effect, but it, it matter. Okay, as you can see, I created a blended map, just like this. Okay this gradient map and I put the 
multiply but yes multiply then the opacity should be around 15 let's say let's, let's make 15 let's be more precise okay before after okay as you can see our image is already looked good but we can we cannot finish here we can go even further okay let's add more uh, one more adjustment another adjustment this is a selective color see the effect okay as you can see on the background there is a lot of let's, let me turn this off yeah, there is a lot of sire as you can see so we need to make the white pure white okay if not the pure white but at least the whites so on the selective color select the white then make on the cyan make negative 20 Magenta negative uh, plus plus ten and the yellow negative twenty five. Let's be more precise and the black negative twenty. Uh, negative 11 uh, 12 negative 12 okay the opacity is 100 but if you see it's too much you can bring it down okay before after before after as you can see on the background and the highlights are looking even better. Uh, now our image has a little bit of red, so I'm gonna reduce the red. As you can see, I removed the red, so I created a hue and saturation adjustment. Then on the properties go on the red and reduce to minus 20 okay opacity will be around 40 it be precise around 40 yes this is looking good one more adjustment color balance another color balance but this one let's start with on the shadow I put the uh, shadow on the uh, blue on the shadow plus five on the high mid tone I didn't do anything on the mid tone highlights didn't even do anything on the highlights but this before after there we have it our image is now color grade as you can see this is before this is after this is before and this is after so uh, I created a flat uh, for this look. And let's see our last mm. <coughs> uh, create a color lookup and the properties load the 3D lats, load the 3D and let's go melanini skin to seven. Uh, guys this this is this pack melanin pack is already on my digital store if you want to grab it's very affordable 15 dollars you can get the, this 
seven LUTs. Uh, but if you wanted this LUT that we created here, I created for this image, you can get it for you can get it for only one dollar. Just one dollar you can get this one. But if you want all seven, you can pay $15 to get all. So this is before, after, before, after. But still you can use opacity if you think the effect is too much. So this is before, after. And this is what we call like that. Okay, you can see the same. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And not just subscribe, please ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And rather than that, it's me, Prince. Follow me on Instagram at PrincePixelTZ and DM me. Let, let me know what you are. You want to. Uh, you don't know you want me to make a video for anything and i'll make that for you thank you